Hi, in this tutorial, you will learn how to work with the PowerFX if function in PowerApps. Let's get started. Okay, so what is the if function in PowerFX? The if function tests if a condition is true or false. It then performs an action accordingly. You tell what should happen when the result is true and what should happen when the result is false. Just like in any programming language, if you have any programming background. So here in this tutorial, we're going to do a few examples. I have already created this screen with some fields and we will start working with it. So here is person A and then here is person B. Then we have name and age. And here you fill the name for person A and the name for person B, the age for person A and the age for person B. Then we're going to create a few if functions to answer some of these questions. Person A and B have the same name. Person A is older than person B. Person A and B have the same name and the same age. Person A and B have the same name or the same age. And for this question, there are two different alternatives. It's the same question. And then there are a few other things that we're going to do. All right. So let's get started with this. Let's insert a label and place it next to the first question. And here we're going to remove the text and we're going to replace this for our first if command. So we're going to say if txt name person a, which is this one, dot text equals txt name person b dot text, then we want to display the result yes. Otherwise, we want to display the result no. And then we close parentheses. What this is doing is testing if the content here on person A name is equals to the content on person B name. And then if it is, it says yes. If it is not, it says no. So let's click save and preview the app. Let's put something like Paul. So Paul and Mary. Okay, Paul is equals to Mary. No, it is not. Well, let's change. Is Mary equals to Mary? Yeah, it is. So it worked. This is how you do it. Okay, now let's create the second if. Is person A older than person B? Okay, let's insert a text label. Okay, and for this one, we're going to change the text property of the label to if text age person A dot text is greater than txt age person B dot text, then we want to say yes. Otherwise, we want to say no. Okay. Now you see, there is a little error here with the red line below. And if we read the error, it says there is an error in this formula. Try revising the formula and running again. And the reason is, is because we are doing a comparison a, with the greater sign. But it is reading this as a text. So a text cannot be greater than another text. So we need to tell the, the power apps that this is a number. And to do that, we add the function value for the specific text. So now we are converting whatever it's inside this field to number. And we need to do this with both fields. So we add value for this one as well. Okay, good. Now it should work. Let's save our app, click preview. Let's change the name here and uh, put the age. Okay, so let's say it's 35 here. Let's say it's 40 here. Is person A older than person B? No, it's not. Now let's say that this person is 20. Is person A older than person B? Yes, it is. Okay, nice. We got this one. Now, now let's do this other one. Person A and B have the same name and the same age. So we're going to insert a new label 
here to the side. Let's change the height to 50 to align better. OK. And let's change the text to an if. If. Now we need if txt name person a dot text equals txt txt name person b dot text. So we are testing the first condition here. And we need to enclose this first condition in parentheses and then do the second test. And txt person a dot text equals txt age person b dot text. If this condition is true and this condition is true, we want to say yes. Otherwise, we want to say no. OK. So let's click Save and test this one. See, it already comes filled. Person A and B have the same name and the same age. No, they don't have the same name and age. So now let's say I change the name of person B to Paul as well. It still doesn't match the condition because both this condition and this condition needs to be met. Now let's say I change this one to 35. OK, now yes, it says yes because both name and age of person A and B are the same. Cool. Let's add a new one for the next question. OK, person A and B have the same name or the same age. So the idea now is that it's going to test if the name is equals or the age is equals. If one of the conditions match, then it will say yes. So let's do that one. If txt name person a dot text and see whenever I say txt name person a dot text, I'm referring to text property of this field, right? Txt name person a is the name of the field equals to txt name person b txt name person b dot text or and now it's the or instead of the and txt age txt age person a dot text equals txt age person b dot text close parentheses so meaning if the name of the two persons is equals or the age is equals then we're going to say yes. Otherwise, we're going to say no. Click save and play. See, and now it's saying it already came with the answer yes because this one or this one is true. So it says yes. Both are true in this case, right? It didn't need to be. Let's say we change this to 15. It's going to say, hmm, we have an error here. Let's check txt name person a dot text equals txt age oh okay here it should be name instead of pers instead of age and here txt age person a txt age person b here it's correct now let's save and play again let's see now it says yes why because the first condition is met the name is the same even if the age is different but if we change the name to something else, now it says name. It says no. Now if we change the age of both to the same age, it says yes, because the age is the same. OK, good. OK, now there is a second alternative to answer the same question, which is a different way of working with the if function. So let's add a text label for this other case. And we're going to change the text property to if. Then we're going to do txt name person a dot text equals txt name person b dot text. If both are equal, then we're going to display the result yes. If not, the if function is going to test the next condition, which is going to be txt age person a dot text equals tx h person b dot text and now we're going to put the result in case the second condition evaluates to true and in that case we also want to say yes now if none of the two conditions evaluate to true we want to display another result which is no 
And see, this is just a different way of creating the same if function that we did in the previous exercise. The way that this is evaluating is this. It is testing the first condition if the name of person A is equal to the name of person B. If it is, it will display yes. If not, it will evaluate the second condition, which is if the age of them are equals. If it is, it will display yes. And then, if none of these two conditions evaluate to true, it will display no. So let's save and preview the app. Same thing. It's saying yes because the age of both of them are the same. Now, if we change one of them to a different age, it's going to say no. Now, if we change the name of one of them to the same name of the other, it's going to say yes. So this two will always display the same result. Now, why do I have this rectangle here? The rectangle is here so that I can show you a different thing that we can do with the if function besides showing text, right? We can use the if function in many different places in Power Apps. So in this case, we're going to select the rectangle and then we're going to change the fill property of the rectangle. The fill property is the property that is responsible for the color that is being displayed inside of the rectangle, which in this case is this one. But now we want to change this color dynamically, depending on something else. And what we're going to do is depending on where this slider is located, the color is going to be different. So we're going to do if slider one, which is this slider below, see it highlighted the slider, slider one dot value is greater than 50, which is the middle point. Then we want the fill property of the rectangle to be of color red. Otherwise, we want it to be color, and we can pick whatever color here, let's say light blue. All right, so now let's click save and preview the app. Now if we slide to a different value, it changes the color. Now it's greater than 50, it displays red. If it is lower than 50, then it displays blue. Now let's create another if command to show a different type of operation that can be executed after evaluating a condition of an if function. So before I started this video, I created some different screens here. So there are three additional screens, the grandpa's screen, adult screen, and kids screen. Okay. So we're going to use these buttons here, the go button, to go to the respective screen depending on the age of the person. So we go to the on select property of the button, and we do this test. If txt age of person a dot text is greater than, let's say, 70, then we want to navigate. See here, we're doing something different. We are navigating to another screen. We want to navigate to the grandpa's screen. If txt age of person a dot text is greater than 17, we want to navigate to the adults screen. And if the, and otherwise, we want to navigate to the kids screen. Now, again, since we are doing a math function, the greater, we need to convert the content to number, the content of the field to number. So we put that in parentheses and add the word value in front to convert the content to, to number. Now let's click play. So let's say Mike is seven. Click go. You arrived at the kids screen. We click back. Let's say Mike is 45. We click go. You arrived at the adults screen. Now let's say Mike is 80. We click go. You arrived at the grandpa's screen. If you liked this video, please click like. And if you want to learn more about Power Apps, click subscribe.